Hey everybody, Jake here from Klein Time Photography and what is going on? Hopefully you guys are all doing well. So we have another traction board review video as I'm assuming you guys can kind of figure out. So we did that last review video with Vic Off-Road. Vic Off-Road, I need to correct myself on that. <laughs> and so they wanted us, We and I think you guys remember, we ended up breaking <laughs> the last traction board. So they went ahead and sent us some more. <laughs> they were like, all right, you broke those. Let's go ahead and test these. So we were trying to figure out a really good testing location. We tested them last time, the last traction board with the Forerunner in the mud, in the snow, uh, different angles and a lot of like cool little variables. So we decided to mix it up a little bit and do another fun little video. It seemed like you guys really enjoyed it. So today's location is the desert and as you can see we are in the sand dunes right now it is actually perfect outside right now it's about a nice 70 75 degrees it's got a little bit of light rain out here so it's going to be a great little testing uh, area for us so yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun with this so let me kind of talk to you about what they sent us so uh, these traction boards are made by bunker industries and I just kind of want to go over some of the cool stuff. And again, thank you very much for sending us these traction boards. I love doing review videos. This is kind of like my new little uh, uh, little fun thing to do. So I'm looking forward to really testing these things out. So, but let me kind of show you what they sent us. Um, these Bunker Industry traction boards, this whole kit right here, you can buy it on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description below. I looked it up. I think it was uh, $149, which for traction boards is amazing. Uh, you can't find those good traction boards, I think, anywhere for that cheap. Usually they're upwards of $300, depending on what company you go with. Uh, these particular ones, they come in red, orange, black. Uh, they also send you this cool bag if you want to throw, like some of the other you guys I do know, that uh, where you're not putting the traction board on top of your rig, you might be throwing them inside. So this is kind of cool. After they get muddy, you can throw them in the bag and they're not going to make as big of a mess. They also send this smaller bag here for this cool little connection plate, which we're going to talk about this later. This has some really cool features. Then they also sent us some really cool little uh, recovery uh, ropes here. So these straps that really help with uh, getting the boards out. I talked about these in the last uh, traction board review video. I'm a huge fan of these. I love them. I think every single traction board out there should have these. They work really well. And another thing, and these are the boards. So we're gonna talk about these guys a little bit. So if you notice, some cool little features. I love kind of breaking these down. You guys know how I am. I kind of like nerd out on this stuff, so to speak. We have our nice, awesome little pattern right here. But the cool thing is if you flip it over, you have the same exact pattern on the other side. Now, that is a really cool feature because sometimes a lot of these knobs and stuff like that will get worn out pretty quickly. So if you really wanted to, and let's say you wore out all these knobs right here and this side of the board was just completely shot, you could flip it over and do the same exact thing on this side and you basically have two surfaces to work on, which you're basically getting the double life expectancy out of your board because instead of you know you having to just focus on worrying about messing up one side you can now mess up two sides <laughs> and some other cool stuff we've got some really cool handles right here i always like having handles on the side of the boards it's just really easy for when you're throwing underneath the truck and you need to lift them up and stuff at weird angles having those handles is really essential uh mounting points let's talk about that so we have our mounting holes here 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 and here and then i when I mounted them to the truck, these aren't my usual traction boards I was using. So I kind of makeshifted something up and that worked out really well for us. And basically I did a plate right here, ran a bolt through, and then that helped me with mounting them right here. So that's what I did. I think it worked out pretty good. We just traveled about five, 600 miles with it like that and had no problems at all. So that worked out pretty nice. And then you'll notice the slots right here. We'll talk about that a little later. So yeah, this is all basically what they give you. And of course they give you two boards. Like I said, they come in orange, black, uh, red, just all depends on what your personal preference is. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be testing these boards out today and having a lot of fun. So hope you enjoy, let's get to it. Oh, and actually I almost forgot. Um, 
because these boards are rated for 20 pounds so they upped the ante on the boards the other boards i think were rated for uh i think they were like 10 tons or something like that so we decided to up the vehicle size too just to make it a little bit more interesting um the ford doesn't weigh 20 tons but it does however weigh i think she's sitting around 7400 pounds or something like that so we decided to up the scale of the vehicle too to kind of make it more interesting so yeah let's get to it all right so one of the biggest things with using traction boards is you need to do a little bit of work before using these we talked about this in the last video so you can't just throw these things under there and expect them to work every single time you need to put in a little bit of work so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're stuck right here in the sand so we're going to go ahead and dig this out a little bit try and get ourselves a little bit of room here try and really get underneath that tire because like we figured out with that last video is that uh, if uh, you don't get underneath the tire it's pretty hard to get out of the sand and you can kind of see down here I'm kind of digging underneath the tire like so so that way the idea here is that you don't want the tire to have to roll up onto the board if anything you want the the tire to come down onto the board because if the board is like we, again we talked about this last time if the board is like this it's going to be a lot harder for the truck to kind of go forward and have to catch it versus all right now the tire is coming down onto the board and we're going to be good there so that'll be good so next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to build a ramp out of these so we talked about how this has a couple different uses right so one of the uses is remember we talked about these holes right here so that's what this is for this is a little attachment that you can do to get on to these guys like that so you go put it up like that down leverage it up and then same thing on this side we're going to attach it like so That, and we're gonna go like this so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring this around and we have just created ourselves a ramp just like that I'm gonna clean out this sand a little bit here so we get the maximum amount of traction as we can so the problem with sand is some of you guys that offer in the sand, you guys know this, but once you get stuck like this and you are, the tire is now below the sand like it is now, you have to get back on top of the sand. If you keep low in the sand and you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and you basically are just gonna trench yourself in and you're not gonna be able to get out. So what you have to do is bring your tires up and out of the sand so you need to get back on top of the sand if that makes sense and you'll see what we mean here in a bit but yeah we have we got ourselves dug out let's go ahead and give it a shot all right so something else i also wanted to mention is we're doing our traction board for video we want to test out the capability of the boards so in the sand most people would probably be in four-wheel drive and they'd be aired down but we're not testing the truck we want to test the board just like we did previously so i'm actually in two-wheel drive right now what we're going to go ahead and do and i also we're going to be testing by doing this the strength of the ridges on the boards how strong they are because i'm not going to be aired down and then the other thing we'll be testing too is how strong that connection is down there to see if that's going to break apart at all for our bridge so i'm in two wheel drive on purpose and i'm not aired down so keep that in mind when you're watching this video So we saw basically what happened in that video. No surprise, uh, another factor. When you're stuck in the sand and you're going uphill, as you can see, kind of uh, come down a little bit, we are going uphill. So something that's even harder to do is if you're stuck on a slant like this and going uphill, a little difficult to get on top of the sand again. So 
this time around we buried the truck even more now as you can see so what we're going to go ahead and do now is instead of going forward we're going to try and see if we can get the truck out going backwards use gravity to kind of bring us back as opposed to trying to use uh, use gravity with for us as opposed to going against it so what we're going to do is i'm going to bring the boards out the connection held basically what happened is the tread works really good the tire basically sucked the boards into the tire so what we're going to probably have to do is uh, redig both sides and then we'll lay the tracks out and then like i said try going back and then we'll see how that goes but the connection did hold the only time the connection broke was actually when both the boards came up and then the entire weight of the tire was on the connection and then it slipped off and i think that's what broke the connection but what we'll go ahead and do is like i said we'll try going back and we'll see how that goes all right so like we said before now what we're going to try and do is go out we're going to use gravity against us so let's give that a shot and then we're going to test this connection point again here In. Let's see if we can get this a little bit tied down a little bit so it doesn't slip. There we go. So, dug out this side, got the boards on this side. The truck's leaning this way, so most of the weight of the truck should be on this side. We also went and checked underneath the rear differential to make sure we're not hung up on the differential. There's no sand basically blocking the differential from coming back because that's really key too. And then we went ahead and checked the front and the front's all good to go. So let's give it a shot and see how she does. connection stayed together the board just got dragged underneath the truck again so what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and the other board's actually underneath the truck now so I'm just going to go ahead and use this other board and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in four-wheel drive and then we're going to see if we can get her out from there <laughs> as you can see though the weight of the truck this is why it's hard to have a truck that's heavy um, you know, the next phase I can do is air down, but I still want to try and still test the boards and make sure that we're doing pretty good here. Um, these guys haven't rubbed down much at all. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and what we'll do is we'll throw the, this board behind the tire, dig it out again, and then put it in four wheel drive and see if we can get it out that way. that we kind of figured out from the videos you saw it looked like the front tires were kind of dragging us back too so what we're going to go ahead and do is uh go to the next step which is like we were saying put the truck in four wheel drive still not air down kind of see how these traction boards work and we'll still be able to uh, test that connection too with that plate because it's still mounted onto the traction board drive was the ticket so uh, as you can see they did kind of get sucked in a little bit um, so yeah they work let's check our connection point right here well factor's still on so it held that's good to know and then uh where's our other board <laughs> uh this is the one that was underneath the tire originally but this is another reason why <laughs> we like leaving the straps on because oh hey look it you know i found a strap so that should make it a little easier to find sounds like i can find the other one let's see now it just becomes a game of find the board and the strap okay there there is oh there's the other side of the board now we just got to find the other strap yeah. where's that oh there's the other strap all right, there we go. And then this is why it's cool to have the straps. 
Yeah. A little dusty. <laughs> Very cool. So those worked out pretty good. But we're not done yet. We still got some more stuff to test, so stay tuned. Let's check this out. Alright, so now we're gonna show you guys another use for these uh, awesome traction boards. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our handy dandy high lift here. for these traction boards. Uh, this is our modified high lift jack. I did cut it short because that way it was, uh, well, we basically don't need to go that high. <laughs> so let me kind of show you something. So this is the Ford, obviously. So common problem, the sand, stuff likes to sink. So we're gonna go ahead and try jacking up the Ford and see how this goes. you guys go ahead and watch this stand and just kind of see what happens. This is a uh, really important because we need to know whether or not our, we're going to be able to change a tire out here in the sand if we need to. It doesn't happen very often but you never know you might uh, spin a ram, um, the opposite might come off but you see what's going on here right? Our jacks, our bottom of our jack is starting to go into the sand. And the more that we go up, the more it's going into the sand. And the truck is lifting, but it's not lifting very much. And another problem we might have is that we might just end up exceeding the capabilities of our jack. So now we come over to our traction board. Let's check something out. All right, so we talked about our uh, other orange piece right here and how it has a, little, a few different uses for it. So we're gonna go ahead and show you one of these cool uses. So you see this uh, this little print right here, right? So check this out. We got our traction board already laid out right here. We're gonna go ahead and place this. We're gonna try and center it up as much as we can. We're gonna try it right about there. Then we're gonna take our high lift jack and we're gonna set it. jacking in the sand off this small little area we've now expanded it to this and then for an extra measure we've also expanded it along the entire board as well now a critical point for this is you obviously want to try and center this up as much as you can because if you just do it right here you're just only going to be utilizing this area so you want to use the middle so let's see how high we can go now ah, see now we're getting a lot more lift all right so now we have basically jacked the truck up by doing this setup and setting it up like this we're able to utilize more of our jack because now that portion of our jack isn't sinking down into the sand and we can go up higher if we need to now so Really awesome, cool little feature and design for the uh, Bunker Gear Industry Extraction Boards. So let's go ahead and wrap everything up and uh, let's do a quick little discussion. All right, everybody. So 
how's the traction boards do i think they did pretty good uh strength test wise they were able to hold up um uh, looking at the ridges we scraped on them pretty good the ridges are still looking nice and good um we did experience um in the sand a little bit of slippage on uh, the sand and the tires pulling them in so um yeah, I, uh, I don't know if that's just because of the sand and the surface area and everything like that, but I mean, as far as the different terrains and different um, things that you're going to come across, um, they are going to have a lot of different variables, so you might have to sometimes get creative. The other thing is, too, is we are only using two of these. If you have traction boards, obviously it's recommended if you can, get four of them, and that way you can put one on each tire. So that is another thing to consider. Um, but as far as hooking up to the tires themselves, that wasn't a problem. Um, these ridges, they hooked up to the tires, they actually sucked the boards in, which, you know, definitely uh, tells me that uh, as far as the grip onto the tires, it works pretty good. And the other thing is too, is the Forge tires are, they're not new, but they're definitely uh, a little bit on the older side, so they, the tread depth on them is very minimal. And being the fact that we didn't air down the tires at all during that video, And then the other thing that's really nice too is it does have the, uh, the tread on the link itself so that way you're not hitting basically a, a flat spot you know where you can potentially lose your momentum and get stuck again so that's nice as well um, yeah so I'd say really nice product I really like it um, yeah thank you again Buckery Industries for letting us check them out um, weight wise I think on Amazon it said, it said that they were uh, I think like 20 pounds or something like that shipping weight or something like that so I believe, I don't have a scale on me right now, but if I had to guess, I think it's like 10 pounds each. So, things to think about. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. We're going to go do some wheeling.